What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another standard showdown arena draft modern event. What are those things are accurate? None of them, but also at the same time, one of them. So, let me export this Dekaruski. And we're actually playing a, a deck submitted by Charlie Wayne over here in the chat. Charlie Wayne 274. And it is called Drakes of Precinct 1. And Charlie says he wants us to play it on Arena. So that's what we're going to do, my dudes. So I'm going to save this. Ow, ow. Can you guys hear that, little man? Drake's online. Okay. So. And uh, we have two dive down, four opt. Uh, four hero of pre Saint one, which is the difference between this deck and other Drake's decks. Three chart, of course. One quench, which is random to me. Two justice strike. Four absorb. Two enigma Drake. Two murmuring mystic. Also makes tokens. Uh, three crackling Drake. Two chemister's insight. And then we have four discovery dispersal. Two Expansion Explosion, and two Warrant Warden. Um, I'm pretty sure I made some changes to this the other day, but it doesn't look like they're still here, but maybe they are. Um, and the sideboard consists of three Lava Coil. Are we missing a sideboard card? That's the question I want to... That's the question we're asking ourselves here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I feel like there should be one more sideboard card. Nope, there are only 14 sideboard cards. Okay, so that's... So we can only actually cast the collision half of Collision Colossus, which is interesting. Okay. So I am just going to add one more of something in here while we while we play around. I'll just add another Deafening Clarion for now. Uh, as usual, I'm going to play the deck before we actually make any changes. And uh, let's play some traditional ranked because that's how we do. I will play first because, come on, let's be real. Uh, this hand seems great. We've got an optical chart, of course. Lots of things to do early. And all the lands we could ask for. I'm going to just play this tapped because I don't feel like taking two damage is really worth opting right now. We don't know what we're looking for. There's been traditional rank for a while, yeah. That was a good, that was a good draw. How loud is, uh, is the arena volume good? No blocks. I'm going to just strike this dude into the... Got him. And now we are going to chart a course. Because, or, uh, we are going to opt because I would like to find something to play next turn. I call red, white, and blue decks French decks. Because of the red, white, and blue. Man, watching the stream is great. Why don't I always do this? Oh, wait, I normally live in the middle of a national park. Do you... So you said... You said recently you were like, I'm done with Yellowstone, so anytime really. What's go what's the deal with that? Tell me more. Past the end of combat. Let's off. Uh oh, hero. We don't uh we can actually hero a yeah, let's keep that guy on top. That seems good. Oh, Enigma Drake. Let's play this guy. And then we're going to chart a course. Um, yep. Man, Hero of Precinct 1 has been... Oh my god. Keep all of these. Do I have double red? Red, red... Oh, we have red, red, blue, blue. So here's the thing. I was actually going to cut the planes because I hate it. <laughs> and you never want to have a planes as one of your first four lands when you have crack when you have Crackling Drake. I'm still going to keep these because we have chart a course and Enigma Drake. So I think I'm okay with that. They're not going to attack here, though.
I work in Yellowstone National Park the year round. My season just finished. I have three weeks off till. That sounds awesome, dude. As far as jobs go, that seems like gas. So they can pump this guy and make it a 3-4. Hmm. This actually complicated blocks here, my dudes. I think we just double block like this. They're going to shoot this guy anyway, so I guess we're going to trade here. Might as well prevent the two. Man, working in a national park sounds absolutely cool. Still need to shoot our face for one. That's fine. Oh, that is a yikes for me, dog. Man, I kind of want to charter course here, but I really don't want to. I don't want to be messing with that. Okay. Okay. Well, there are options here. Well, this does block, so we're gonna just... Hear me, monsters. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Huh. Is this just like no attacks? Because that's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, so you are tapped out. So if we double block here, they can't shoot. Like, this is going to deal two, so this is actually fine blocks. This gets rid of everything. And then we get to keep one hero. Well, that was sad. Oh, another another crackling Drake, huh? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna hope to hit a land here. We did. We did. We did. I'm gonna discard this because I think playing Drake here, making a four five four is pretty good. So they're gonna make us discard a crackling Drake. We're gonna draw a no crackling. No fire, Drake. no steel. Hmm. Man, Angrath is actually surprisingly good here. Double Seraphim scales. Okay, okay. Well, don't like that. Nope. Block that. Okay. Oh, uh, we're just going to discard the hollowed fountain here. I really don't feel like if we play if we play this and play charter course, we're going to draw two, discard one and then just discard whatever we draw. So, uh Yeah, no attacks, I guess. No fire. No steel. Austral American, you can check out the uh, the deck stream decker on the on the screen. It should tell you uh, the creator after the name of the deck list. So I think it's Charlie. I mean, it is Charlie Wayne, but I think that's how it works. I think it should show. I mean. Okay, well, that's a thing. Where's Velvet Mike? I don't even know who Velvet Mike is. Oh, Kirkland Signature? I got you. I got you, fam. I know your games. Figured that'd be the case. But we can still chart the course. Oh, Murmuring Mystic and a Chemist's Insight. Okay. 
No fire, no steel. Discard that dude. I kind of want to counter this because it gives us another 1-1. One, one. And they have one card in hand, so I'm not going to like wait for them to play a second card. When we can get a 1-1 one, one out of it, we can gain 3. And we can have an extra body to pressure Angrath, so... Okay, see that worked out well. I actually feel like we are back in this game. If we draw one more land, Chemistry's Insight and Discovery Dispersal next turn is pretty nuts, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to steal Hero this turn. Yep. Your crew for my freedom. A fair price. Now that worked out pretty well for you. Quench would have been uh, not good. Not good. Um, I guess that's fine. Boy, oh boy. No fire, no steel. Angrath is weirdly punishing us here. an aggressive attack. Just don't have something else. All right, that's good. Well, that would have been nice. We know they're drawing Aurelia, Fires out, but which is actually okay for this turn. Oh, we actually should have kept the bird back. I forgot it was a 2-2. Two -two. This is actually tricky. There's a lot going on. And we're definitely chump walking. Oh, wow. That's so sad. Wow. Doesn't get trample, right? Oh, gains trample if it's red. All right. That's pretty good. This is an instant, though, so I guess that's a thing. Okay, that's actually great for us, because it lets us gain three before... Okay, that actually helps us immensely. So we're going to block here, we take three. Chump block here. Or we can just block everything here. And then we go to two. Yeah, I'm game with that. The Staggerman, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Show me something good. Now I hit some lands, yeah. Alright, well. 
All we have to do is dodge sick top decks. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can pump this guy twice, making it a four, five. We are not dead yet. Okay, one, two, three, and you do have enough mana to pump it again. That seems good. And it has trample now. Seems good. One, yep, yeah, that's. That was a nice top deck. Go to one. Hope we draw something that kills this. That doesn't not kill it. Oh, it doesn't because we don't want black mana. Yep. We definitely want a black mana in the deck. Like, just something. Some way to, like... Does dive down help us? It makes another guy. Like, it lets us block with a bird. Eh, that's not great. Okay. We'll see how many birds we can make, I guess. Nope, don't want that. Didn't want that either. Alright, so now we're dead. I mean, I guess we can quadruple block here, so we're not dead dead, but yeah, it feels pretty bad. There's also an insane amount of lands to have drawn. One, two, three, four. At least four in the graveyard. I know I scryed, I think, two to the bottom. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen lands. Well, got a quadruple block. Glad you enjoyed the 15 hour stream uploads. Really appreciate it. Oh, well, that's good. That just kills us no matter what. All right. Well, this game was closer than it should have been. Please tell me I was the best. Please tell me I was the best. Wow. Even if I wasn't. Okay. So. Boros.decums. Not a big Quench fan. I am a big Justice Strike fan. <clears throat> Lava Coil, also pretty good. I'm not a big Warrant Warden fan. I just don't think it does enough. Also, I think Ral is fantastic in the deck. Just kills creatures that we want to kill. Actually, Collision seems good against the Aurelia and the Seraph. But I'd rather Lava Coil than the Seraph. Alright, let's see if this works. Do you think there might be too many lands as well? I think, I think the land count is 25. I think it is 25. It doesn't seem like it's 25. I just beat Mono Blue Mill in Modern while playing Mono Blue Turns by playing Laboratory Manning I'm proud of this. You need to see it. <laughs> oh. uh, I'll keep missing. No, there's only 23 lands. That seems weird. Man, foot life came to that. Okay, well. That was a nice draw. Um.
think we're just going to opt twice here. I'd rather save this for a hero. So we could actually play hero next turn. Uh, I could just play hero now. Okay, I'll play it now. Yep. I'm not sure the one token we would have gotten from here would have made it worth it for us, but nope. We've already scribed like two lands to the bottom. I also think we want to maximize the number of drakes we have. Um, I'm going to keep both of these, actually. Oh, that's nice. We can actually go hero into Justice Strike. That's pretty gas. Alright, Mentor is super obnoxious, but I'm okay with it. I'll, I'll allow it. And let's just save the lava coils for future uh, seraphs. Three, two, huh? All right, no blocks. Yeah, this plane's ain't doing this plane's ain't doing anybody any favors. expecting another land huh okay oh Simicadonna's climb sounds nice all right they have five cards we have one card. We also have seven lands, there are four lands. That's fine. Something good. Not something bad. Those are my those are my requests. Danny, what's going on, buddy? Yeah. Alright. Well, that's not terrible, but You got it. That's that's totally fine. Um Yeah, I don't think I want to take three damage against this deck. I'll just block with the one. Seraph number two. Even though they know we have this, we're still going to keep it because if we draw chemistry's inside, I'd rather just have this. Uh... Okay. Speak of the devil. I guess that's not speak of the devil. We didn't really speak of anything there. Alright, well, having absorb on an empty board is pretty nice. Even though they know about this one, this is just a better land to have in this deck. 
Alright, Boros Challenger is not a card I'm super afraid of. Oh, well, that's nice. Now we're just gonna play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get to draw five and deal five. Just loving the fact that I had 50 ish hours at work this week and we're probably doing 40 ish hours this week. Yikes. Well. Five. A five. Target a creature, target a play. I mean, you're going to get to duress one of these cards, but unless it's like creature, 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 land, land, which it might be. Creature, oh, this is actually just fine. Take the chemisters in sight. They didn't. Oh, well, that's just rude. Uh, let's go this. I'll we'll play Murmuring Mystic. Will you stop mortifying my things, my dude? Alright. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get a Drake. That's perfect. Let's get a 14 4 Drake. One, two, three, we have five mana up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Really? Okay, I'll just keep that guy on top. Alright, you got him. <coughs> uh, I think the number of expansion explosion is fine just because like you don't want to have too many in your like opening hand. However, this is a card you want four of. Not having four of this guy is is crazy to me. Yeah, I think two is a good number for expansion explosion. Everything else I think is good. Good times. Alright. Oh, a justy strike. Well, that guy's good. All right, so they missed a land drop, which is just fantastic. So I think we're just going to keep... Do we just play Drake here? I think we just play Drake here. Okay, sounds good. We're already pretty much undefeated with this deck, which is which is pretty cool. All right, let's go to uh, let's go fix this. Let's go fix this mess of a deck. No, just kidding. This deck is actually pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna take the warrants out. Uh, I do want another murmuring mystic. I think the murmuring mystic is actually very good. Um, I want another Drake here as well, but like, there's no way to. How do I? Okay, so if I click on it, it takes it out of the deck. 
So I literally have to go to find it again to add more to the deck. That's weird. Okay. So I really kind of just think we want four of each of these. They're kind of like our win conditions. I don't like the one random quench. They also all, they both trigger Hero of Pre-Saint 1 as well. Maybe we don't want a third Mystic. Maybe Murmuring Mystic might be too cute. Go to list view. Oh, we can go to list view and then like and then click on the plus. Sure, but I feel like this is a like I shouldn't have to go back and forth, right? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Auras of Majesty quest deck. I don't even know what that means. Face all. I don't know what that means. Uh, I like this, I like this, I like this. Chemistry's Insight is good. How many lands are here? One. Okay, we're definitely taking out the planes. Three, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 lands. We're definitely adding another Sulphur Falls. Okay. <clears throat> definitely want all the Sulphur Falls. Um, we're definitely heavily blue, heavier, heavier blue than red. By a sizable amount. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Um, cut one island. I don't think we need that many basics is the thing. So we have four, eight, uh, ten. Or four, four, eight, ten. Uh, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. So I'm pretty sure we just add, like, another glacial fortress. Ah, Aura's Majesty is the green-white deck you get. Ah, uh, then I'm, I can't say I'm actually too familiar with it, to be honest with you. Um, I think the Magic, I think MCG Arena does a great job of giving you a bunch of cards at the beginning, though. Like, there's a ton of ways to get, like, uh, to get decks. <clears throat> I do like the option of just having a black source to... I could say I like one drowned catacomb instead of one glacial. That actually makes sense to me. Just to, just because you have one black source, you just got one black source. It's nice. I don't know if I love dive down. It's a good way to save your guy, but it doesn't. It's not super proactive, right? I feel like we can just get more. Um, we can just get more things going on, right? Like our, our win conditions are like here. I feel like we we want more gold cards. So let's go. Uh, collected all the things. Get rid of these. Must be gold. Um, alright, so it doesn't have to be all three. Is there a way to only make it some of these? I want these three colors, but I want them, like, it doesn't have to be all three of them. Is that... Is that, is that possible? I don't know how to do that. If I take the red out... This means this mean gold? I don't know what this even means. What does this gold ring mean? <laughs> Someone help me. I need an adult. Anyway, I'm just going to do it like this and I'll just go to the, uh, the gold section. Eventually, once we get there. Wow, this is actually... Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> oh, I see, I see. Okay, so now we're doing blue-white. Got it. Got it. Deputy of Detention actually seems pretty decent here. I don't know if we want more three drops. I feel like we want more like one and two drops, but I don't think there's gonna be very many. One color, one casting cost gold cards. Um, I kinda like Ral just in the main deck. Okay, white, red. Look, we figured it out together, guys. We did it. We did it. 
I like Justice Strike a lot. Yeah, I think it's very good. Same thing with Lava Coil. Yeah, that's also good. All right. All right, so the last color we're doing is blue-red. Ionize could be good, but I think we have four absorb, and I like absorb better than ionize. I feel like we want. What if we had like one Niv Mizzet in the deck? That feels good. What if we have like one Ral and one Niv in the main deck, just as like big fat late game dudes? I don't think we have enough spells. Well, actually, we have a ton of spells. We did. We already added one Drowned Catacomb just to like... Yeah, sometimes when I'm like, oh, Niv Mizzet? <sighs> I'm about to bust. Hmm. Admiral Beckett Brass. Reporting for duty. Firemind Enchantment thing seems a little ambitious. Like, you gotta have two charge counters just to draw a card and five to deal five. I kind of like having one around on the main deck. I think we just want more cheap interaction. Maybe one Beacon Bolt is actually pretty good. It just kills two things. I worry about Niv because we only have, uh, what do you call it? Um, we only have 24 lands. And I'm not looking to really fix that. What is, uh, what is Collision for? I think it's good against like um I think Beacon Bolt's probably just better than Collision in the sideboard, right? I mean I think we can deal five with this. I don't think this is ever gonna be an issue for us. Uh I like the Deafening Clarion. I would cut one Ral. Just add another Teferi, so now we have like a bunch of planeswalkers. Eh, maybe see this is gonna be four planeswalkers against the control deck, so we probably just want a couple counter spells. This is also a lot of removal, right? Like two, this is three, four, five, six pieces of removal. I'm gonna take the Warrant Wardens out and maybe we'll add some. I do like Negates. Uh, it's probably Negate. Yeah, I like that. That's a good, Let's let's start with this and see how this goes. We also maximized our Drake account. Oh boy. I'm gonna keep it. It's got all the things we want. I think it's fine. If Counterspell went out, we have Absorber in the main deck. We have Quattro Absorbs in the main deck. That's why. That's why. But you can fool all the people all the time. Oh boy. Well, that's nice. Is that new? Was that new uh, Explore animation? Hmm. Fascinating. Uh, no blocks. Oh, that's interesting. You gotta stand up for your rights. That doesn't do anything right now. You can discovery dispersal into beacon. I'm just gonna play this guy. I'm not sure if it's correct, but we'll see. We'll take five, and then we get to if we hit a land, we can go discovery, discovery. 
Quick, is it color or color? Uh, depends on where you are in the world. If you're in uh, Australia or England, or most European countries, I'd imagine, then uh, it is color with a U. In Canada as well, I think. Oh, I see. That's that's incredible. Wow, that's a that's a beating. That's what's known as a beating. I'm taking a beating now. Yeah, resolve. Why wouldn't I resolve that? I don't want either of these. I want to hit lands. That's not my ball. All right. Well, how many have we got in here? Now we have five things in here, so now we can beacon bolt this guy, get our two guys back. Yeah. I'm hoping I just hit a land here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go to four, but we're not dead. When you get found some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Oh, Prime Speaker Vanifar, huh? I work on a graphics code base that's worked on by multiple countries, so it's very, I can imagine. Some words have use, some don't. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think we're dead. Okay, so you're just attacking with both of these guys. I'll block here. And go to one. I don't think we can win this game. We're definitely bringing in uh, Deafening Clarion here, my dudes. So, we're at one life point, as the kids say. No one says that. Let's go to the next game. I'm also going to take out the heroes. I'm going to take out all the early creatures that just die to our thing. Which is sad, but I would much rather go Clarion, Clarion, Clarion. Justice Strike could... Eh, Lava Coil is going to definitely kill all of their things. Take out two of those, bring in two more lava coils. Um, more beacon bolts could be nice. I think this is actually fine. Yeah, all right. Let's play first. I'm going to keep this just because of the opt. We could be dead here, guys. get to see two cards here and we failed that's fantastic
How about now? All right. All right. Wow, really? <clears throat> Not one land, huh? How about now? Nope, still nothing. Seems good. Alright, I guess we'll discard Chemister's Insight. Well, that's not ideal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concede this game. We have no way to deal with the Vanifer on board. <clears throat> they sack this guy for three, make it a 4-4, four, four, make it a four drop. Yeah, that's just that's just your typical mana mana situations there. I think we would have been fine if like we could actually play on curve that game. But... Uh... But, you know, you can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. That's what I always say. He's never said that before. Start with this guy. Into glacial, into this guy, into beacon bolt for none. But when pizza's on a bagel, you can fool pizza anytime. That's really sad. Oh, we're playing against a little, little, little gate double play of the gate deck. Here's my little gate deck. I'm just gonna play some gates. My, my, my gate deck. Oh, here's my guild summit. Wait, I wish we had an answer to guild summit. That would be nice. That would be nice. I really don't want to throw another hero out. That seems mediocre. Shorter course.
Sweaty boy, send me an email at frank at franklapore.com and I will check it out for you, buddy. Same thing with anyone else. If you're ever interested in some uh, deck critiquing, you can check me out at that email address. The link is in, or the email address is in the description of the YouTube video or the Twitch profile. And um, you can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns, which is a pretty sick deal because, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know what's happening right now. What is even going on with these matches, man? How many gates do they have? One, two, they have three gates. So even if they played, even if they played like gates ablaze, only our creatures would die and it'd be a pretty miserable experience. But they don't have red, so maybe they don't have that. Maybe. Oh, uh, you can leave. And you can leave. Okay, Enigma Dracles. Yeah, so if you're looking for lounge pants, if you're looking for socks, if you're looking for underwear, if you're looking for onesies, any any sort of comfortable, super comfortable clothing, definitely check out MeUndies.com. If you're already looking for it, you can use my affiliate link in the comments or in the description, and uh, that will help both of us out. So, great way to support the stream. Ah. Um, do I just triple block this guy? Double block this guy? And then play... This feels bad. I think we can take seven here. Because next turn we get to go just to strike this guy, play Drake, make four more guys. Yeah, that seems better. What's this guy at? What do you have? What do you have, Drakey boy? Five, four. Four, five, six. All right, let's see what's going on. I guess. Just gonna say something real quick, Frank. Thank you so much for all this. Your stream is amazing. The thing you guys did last week was amazing. You don't even know what you mean. <laughs> Spaghetti toucher. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Without you guys, it wouldn't even be worth it. Would not even be worth it. You guys are amazing. Six of these dudes. Um, all of them. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I'll take one. That's a fine trade for me. Those guys are all free. thing, isn't it? How much is this? Six? I think we can do better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's pitch a Sacred Foundry. Apparently we cannot do better. Hmm. Well... Fascinating. Does this count itself? I don't actually know how this works. If I cast this, will it count as a seventh? I don't think so. No attacks. One, 
two, three. They also have four gates, so they can just go gates ablaze, kill our board, attack for seven. That seems pretty brutal. Guild Summit basically acting as like a Phyrexian arena for free is pretty, pretty insane. That you don't have to take damage from, which is what I meant by free. Oh boy. Okay. Well, why does it have trample and flying? Can can someone explain it to me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Oh my god, this is just terrible. Still six, huh? Okay, well. I think that's game. I don't think this actually works the way I think it works. Yep, didn't think so. Alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna skip. Okay, so they're playing a Gates-esque deck. Uh, Justice Strike seems fine. Absorb seems fine. Beacon Bolt is rough. I don't think Murmuring Mystic is going to do much. We're going to bring this in, bring this in, bring the Hawali in, just because I like the the Creechy Boy. I like the, the Planeswalkers here. Um, I think that should be fine. Everything else seems really powerful. I do like Justice Strike because it kills pretty much everything from uh, Gate Gate Boy, uh, Gate the the Ram to uh, the Hydroid Crassus to the uh, Colossus if they have it. Let me just take out one opt. You know what? I'll give it a shot. If we can hit one blue source, we're fine because we can play uh, Discovery Dispersal and find the rest of our good stuff. Alright. Come on, blue source. that instead because I want to try to dig well I guess this is gonna hit this is gonna help us hit lands as well or right? dig too deeper but I'm okay with either all right we're doing it we're living the dream guys I think we just attack here and keep up uh, absorb actually could play Enigma Drake and keep up opt But then they just go gate, and then they use gateway plaza to cast gates of blaze. Eh, I'll just keep absorb up. a blue land with one of these, right? So we can actually play this. And if we hit a blue with it, we're good. I think we kind of have to risk it because we really need to land here. One time, one time, one time. Oh, the island. The sneakiest island. That's gas. Huh. 
Pass, pass. Well, I guess we're gonna opt here. Yeah, I'll just keep it on top. Man, Hero of Precinct 1 is one of my favorite cards in this set. We have two Planeswalkers in hand. I'm pretty much okay with that. He's not done yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should surrender now. Come, sing the song of fame. Play a land. I guess we can discovery dispersal here. We can't play Justice Strike now, but I guess that's fine. Like, we're not... Our mana situation's not bad enough that, like, we care. Well, that's pretty annoying. Go and feast on their flesh. Let's skip to the good part. Uh, next, next. No attacks. Make sure we use everything. Uh, untap you, untap you. Little Rammy. Pass. So, like, we can attack for a lethal here, but if they have anything, it's not lethal. So, I'd rather just double block here. Assume they don't have any instant speed removal because they haven't yet. Keep Tefri alive. And this guy's already 7, so like the Justice Strike here is going to make it 8, and we can still chart a course and 9 them. And they do have subtle mana up. Now they don't. Got him. That'll do. All right, game three. Do you just want negates here? I feel like negates are good. 
Their creatures are pretty obnoxious. Let's take out one charter course to bring it in the gate. Take out one op to bring it in the gate. I think that's probably good. Oh, is the opt gonna screw us? We're on the draw. I can keep this hand, actually. Hero into Absorb would be fantastic. Well, oh god, pay two. One time, one time, one time, one time. Really? This is how it's going to go every game? <sighs> we looked at 10 cards and we saw one land? Come on, dude. Oh, I see. Well. Sulfur falls off the top. Come on. I like the main phase growth spiral. Well, at least we can try to find a third land this way. I guess that's something. Um, it doesn't even let us play Absorb, which is pretty bad. But can we actually be greedy enough to put it? No, I don't think so. I think we have to keep it. I don't I don't understand but all right I'll take it he's like whoa discovery dispersal when you have a tutu on board we're done all right I actually kind of like the way this looks so far it's done it's done okay I almost want a 25th land, but then we're going to get flooded and it's going to be real sad. I think the Murmuring Mystic might be too cute. It's just too expensive. You know what I mean? I don't think you want to go into four colors. I think it's like, I think it's, I think we might just want one, like one Teferi actually. I think I just like having a mix of Planeswalkers. Like you want, I think, I think you want things that like help us draw cards. Uh, we can cut one Mystic. Then we have one Mystic, one Teferi, one Ral. I think I like that better just because they're such good late game cards. Chemisters, I don't think you want more of, just because, like, the deck has a... It seems like it's having a hard time getting to four mana. And the things you want to do on four are usually more proactive, if that makes sense. Plus, we already have Opt, Dispersal, Discovery, Dispersal, and Charter Course for cards. So I don't think you want more Chemisters in sight. Um, I actually don't hate this hand. It's a little slow, but I don't... I don't think it's bad. We do need a second red, but that's okay. I don't think we want Niv Mizzet. Like our odds, are, like you, you, you can count the number of games where we've hit six lands on on one hand. I.e., not a lot. <clears throat> well, that was a pretty good draw. Watery grave, huh? Drown. Snatter combs. Oh, for Drake, deal with it. 
they did not deal with it. Second O4 Drake, deal with it. Got him. That's how we do it here. Okay. Two O4 Drakes? Can't handle it. I have no idea what they're playing. I will assume Justice Strike. Actually, what if they bring in... I'm afraid they're going to have Thief of Sanity, so that's a card I'm not looking forward to dealing with. I think we're just going to smell like this. We actually have no idea what they're playing, so... Yeah, they, we had 204 Drakes, and they were like, I can't handle this. And I was like, I understand, man. I get it. Uh, this is a monster. This is a reluctant keep. That is a much better keep. Oh, I see. They're playing Sultai. How, how predictable. They probably just missed enough land drops and enough uh, green sources that they were just like, well, this is... I'm not having a good time at all. Yeah, so we would have we would have taken out like justice strikes and been in awkward awkward shape. So Go ahead, pump your incubation druid. I dare you. I dare you. This is where they go block, pump. It's not good for anybody. We have lands in hand where this is just a fine thing to do. Well, that, that's even... One, two, three, four, six, seven. They'll have eight mana next turn. That's pretty insane. See, now we know to bring in, like, lava coils and the other things. That's a good dude. As opposed to our 1 4. Well, we have answers. Sure. Wow, this is actually insane, the amount of value they're getting, the amount of things they're able to do in one turn. It's pretty ridiculous. Not sure how we win this game. 
but we definitely have to deal with this. Sure. I guess we could theoretically draw a card that deals with Hydroid Crassus. That's not it. Alright, let's take out two ops. Lava coil, lava coil, just a strike. Do you like Deafening Clarion? Maybe. Take out one of these for another beacon bolt, I think. <sighs> Jesus, these hands are terrible. Unbelievable. Yeah, all right. We'll keep hero. Thank you, Krasuski man. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome, welcome back, buddy. Thirty-seven months in a row. That is insane. Wow, that's actually great. Thirty-seven months in a row. You are a boss, dude. My subscribing is not a phase. That is probably accurate. Until we have one more land, because then we can actually protect this guy. They are missing blue mana, which is okay. And eh, no. Sure. Oh well. So one, two, three, four, five, one, they can pay three, activate this, still have two left over. Ugh, we just do it now? I don't even know. Draw three duresses this game. Pretty good. Alright, they have nothing. Sounds good. Four four flyer. We're not going to kill the Chupacabra because then they just get to get it back with Memorial. So as long as it's on board, it's pretty safe. Yep. Let's 
seems good. Let's put that in the graveyard. I guess we'll keep Justice Strike. Actually, we don't need the Justice Strikes. So let's just draw a random card. Maybe that'll be better. Alright, well. Can you explain why you didn't counter the duress? Is because the knowledge of your hand didn't outweigh. Uh, it's because we had two. They had one card in hand and we had two absorbs. So if they go duress uh, and we counter it, they're free to play whatever their other card is when we can't absorb it. Whereas if they take an absorb, then we still have an absorb left to counter whatever their next card is. So. Um. I'm just going to attack here. The Justice Strike's not going to make a difference here. Because it doesn't matter if they see our hand or not. We still have an Absorb up. So they have to deal with that. And if they can't, then they don't get to play their spell. So I don't want to like dire I don't want to like absorb their duress and then have them follow it up with like a Vraska or something and we're tapped out because we didn't play the absorb. Oh look, uh, depose deploy. That's pretty cool. And and some jammies. Some little jammies. All right, do we want to make any changes here? What up, Chris? <laughs> I feel like we kind of do the same thing. I feel like you're doing the thing that I do. I like that. I like that. All right, so. Hmm. Oh. Oh, tell she, Chris, I said hi. Tell her I love and miss her. Hmm, I think I think I like the way this deck is looking. I think the Drakes are very good. Yeah, I don't actually see any changes I want to make at this moment. What up, she Chris? It's not a phase, Mom. Let's play first. Oh, Snapperuski. Gutter bones? Them bones, them bones, them. Gutter bones and those skeleton bones. We are the gutter bone. Wow, basic swamp into basic mountain. Into cast down. Does your mother know you're this rude? I hope so. I hope she knows. is far more aggressive than I like it to be. Where are my spells at? Oh, a hero into Enigma Drake is nice next turn. That's okay. Gutter bones. This is a yikes for me, dog. Oh, you're attacking with that dude. All right, cool. I'll just block here then. Okay, so we're going to play this guy. And then we're going to play this guy. 
Boy, it would sure be nice if we had a spell. But I guess we got some we got some sweet walls here. Crackling Drake is literally just a what's it called? A glorified wall of omens so far. Okay, so this is gonna shoot me for one. This guy's gonna shoot for. So we're gonna have, they're gonna have two damage in the queue. So you belong to the stairs. Yeah, we're gonna have to block like this. So three, four, five. And then they get one shot, so they're just gonna probably go face. Oh, they get two shots. Well, that's sad. I don't know why we blocked with that instead of the Drake. Oh, they had a, another Judith. How nice. That's very nice. This was a zero? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a good one. So we block here, we take three, four, five, six, seven. If we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, this is. Oh, yeah, this is going well. Oh, boy. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have to block here. One life? That's pretty good. Wow, this is a this is a concession here. Did the chat die? Are we still alive? What's going on here? Everyone's Okay, so we're gonna take out the explosion expansions, they're a little expensive. We're gonna take out the I like absorb, but it's a little slow. Uh, we're gonna bring what do we got? Five four slots here. Take out the Maring Mystic as well. Three of these guys. Take out one hero. Just the strength. Lava Coil, Lava Coil. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. All right. All right. I will keep this beautiful hand. Alright, let's try to get a land here. What's our board? Clifftop Retreat? So we have to double... Why is Della Blue so hard to get in this deck? I don't even think I want to get rid of this, though. Because next time we can just strike and opt. I think that's fine. I think we do have to get rid of you, which makes me sad, but that's life. I feel like if they had a Gutter Bones, they would have played it, though. Alright, well, we're definitely killing that, because that card is pretty terrifying. Oh, that's... That's not bad. I 
actually is what we're hoping for. We're hoping for the overextension and the, the deafening clarion. What are the odds this crackling Drake doesn't die? Fantastic. So we can actually rowl something. Actually, I will play this because it lets us opt. Just don't play a Judith here. Okay, that's good too, I guess. Are we dead? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to two. That's pretty gross. Oh, this is actually a lot better. I think putting us to two is a lot safer, actually. Nope. One, two, three, we'll have... Uh, don't care about either of these. Care about that either. Okay. All right. Well, now we're at eight. It's a little safer. Cast down. Yep, you got it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the chat's weird. Let's play this guy. Nope, don't want to draw that. Okay, well, that's the thing, I guess. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, that's actually pretty safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we play this... Yeah, that's pretty good. And an opt? All right, we're going to play the land. Because we can either chemistry's insight if they don't play anything that really pressures us into yeah this feels good do I care about this guy we take one two three 
I guess I do. Being able to just go to nine here is nice. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's so, come on, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just gonna run this. All right. These are both sorceries, so look, just don't draw a haste creature. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. You got it, dude. Back to back haste creature top decks. Seems good. Six, seven, eight. All right, so at least we can go. Is this a joke? Just like draw three of those in a row? Keep up the pace. I'm just like, I can't. That's unbelievable, man. One, two, three, four lands left. We're gonna untap two so we can chemistry's insight if we play this and play this. This is also at 17 right now. We're gonna have four mana. Now we're just doing all the things right now. Neither of these do much. I'm trying to get this to 19 either to 20 before we matter. Just don't find a way to deal two damage, that's all. It's gonna be a Judith, you ready? Come on, my dude. Come on. Sure, that's actually nuts. Now you get to kill my Drake again. I guess if that's your choice. I guess you could just destroy or lava coil it. These top decks have been ridiculous. Do you ever just draw lands? Is that a thing? Just draw land? Maybe land off the top? Maybe? Just draw land. Oh, there you go. That's fascinating because I don't think you've dealt me damage this turn, so you're just not gonna have that guy. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Okay, now we've just won. That'll do. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually beacon bolt this dude. Oh, that's a. Uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of Hall of Fountain. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Okay, so this does not kill us, right? Resolve. You got it. You can deal one to us and get your gutter bones back. Okay. Got it. Good, 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 got it. Alright, well, Teferi was really OP there. I feel like if they didn't kill if they if they didn't kill Ral and just put us to two, I feel like that we we just wouldn't have survived. I kinda like Hero even though we have Deafening Clarion. Like I still think it's just a good card. Maybe Murmuring Mystic's also just fine, I don't know. Uh, Hawali's alright. I don't I don't dislike Hawali. I just think she starts at three, so she's kind of Well, that's nice. Pretty sure I'm just getting rid of gutter bones forever here. disappointing. Um, do we want steam vents? I don't think we want either. Actually, we probably want one of these, right? Got it. Tell me that's the end of your turn. Oh, wow. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. One, two, three, four, five. I, we already have an absorb. I'll take the Drake. Here comes. Angrath or Plague Crafter number two? No, just a fanatical fire ranger. Oh god. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> he was right all along, you see. I think we're actually doing pretty well here. They have three cards. We can counter one of them. And they have two cards. So, all right, I think we're actually in really good shape here. Also, if we hit one more land. Ugh. You know what? Sure, I don't care about that thing. I just want to keep that guy. That card's good. Another hero, huh? I need another hero. I'm pretty sure we're in a, at a point where we can just crackling Drake here. And maybe we hit a land off the crackling Drake. I'm gonna give them an opportunity to cast whatever their last card is here. You don't see more of it mostly because it's it's like there's a lot of token card, there's a lot of token strategies going around. And uh, even if they have like one like a, like a Merfolk Branch Walker, like a two one that wasn't e explored, 
it's just pretty bad. It's really good against these control decks, but I mean, our deck's pretty sweet. I feel like we've been doing some work here. I actually like the. I, I think this deck is in a good position. I actually like the way it looks now. Um, yeah, like I, I like the one more mystic as like a, an extra as like a fifth hero. I like the four drakes and the four drakes because those are like your your win conditions. Uh, we've been actually pretty easily able to fill the graveyard. I like the two the two planeswalkers is just kind of like ways to refill your hand. I could see cutting one after one chart, of course, just because we don't have a ton of waves to attack, and we're not like be we're not able to really dump. Um, we're not able to really dump Arclight Phoenixes or Radical Ideas into the graveyard, so chart, of course, is actually a little bit worse. Uh, I could see adding like one Lava Coil or one Justice Strike to the main deck. Probably one more Justice Strike, actually. Don't you know you're going to... I have no idea what a budget version looks like. I mean, this only has, like... Teferi and Ral are, like, the only mythics in the deck. Everything else is pretty much uncommons and commons. And, like, the rares would be the lands, right? Like, I mean, you could just replace the lands with something else. But I think this would be the deck I go with. I think this would be the final the final version of the deck with, like... Um, three Justice Strike, two Chart, four Opt. Because your card advantage is fine, right? You have two... You have two Chemisters in sight, you have two Chart of Course, you have four Opt, you have four Discovery Dispersal, and then you have one Teferi, one Ral, and two Explosion Expansion. I think this deck actually looks pretty sweet, and uh, I think our record uh, kind of echoes that. Uh, I also think the mana is a little bit better now. I do think we're drawing too many of these, but I don't think that's... I mean, we have less of these than any other combination. Like, we have blue-white, we have seven, blue-red, we have eight, and these we have six, so we should actually draw them the least. Um... But, yeah, I think this deck was sweet. Charlie Wayne, hopefully uh, hopefully you appreciate some of these changes. Hopefully it looks good for you. I think this deck looks sweet, and uh, I obviously had a good time playing it, and uh, hopefully you guys had a good time watching these changes take place and watching the deck evolve. I also like the three negates in the sideboard. I think they were necessary. This might still be a little too much removal. I think we can probably take out one Justice Strike, and I'm not sure what, like, life gain? Is there any life gain that's just good? Like, as, like, a one-of thing? I don't know. It might just be a fourth negate. Like, if you're playing the control decks, um, it might just be decent to to just have a fourth negate along with, like, the planeswalkers. Like, you get all the planeswalkers. And uh, my memes are topical. Laurel undying parts. <laughs> Laurel. Laurel. Oh, man. That's that's amazing. Oh, uh, Revitalize seems pretty rough but maybe not I can even see revitalize in the main deck but I'm not sure what you'd cut maybe you cut the Chartagorce like you're drawing one card instead of two but it's still triggering your chemistry's inside it's still growing your drakes I actually kind of like I actually kind of like revitalize do I not have any revital oh it's gonna unselect 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 I don't do I not have revitalize wow I don't have any revitalizes Yeah, I would actually try to revitalize over two charter course, maybe. You draw one fewer cards, but the three life is not nothing. Shut up and take my money. But yeah, I don't know. It seems good. So I would either yeah, I would try the, I would try the revitalize over charter course, but I mean I think these are interchangeable. It depends if you want the card or if you want the life gain. But I would also put I would just put one revitalize in the sideboard too, just because the three life gain is not nothing. And it cycles, so it's a very at the very least. Charles, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And you guys have been great. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out coolstuffinc.com and use the promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off your purchase. You can go to meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off and along with free shipping and free returns. And you can also check out Mana Traders. And if you use the promo code or the link in the description below, you'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. So definitely check that out. Mana Traders is a pretty awesome service. And uh, I use them myself to borrow cards. Uh and rent decks on both Magic Online and Physical physical Magic, so 
definitely check those out if you're interested. Really appreciate the support, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.